trapezoids A, B, C, D, and A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, D double prime are graphed on the set of axes below. Determine a sequence of transformations that maps trapezoid A, B, C, D onto trapezoid A double prime, B double prime, C double prime, and D double prime. So we want to uh, see how we can go from A, B, C, D to that uh, image there with the double primes. Uh, and I can see here that ABCD uh, in the original is drawn in a counterclockwise orientation. And then ABCD is um, with the double prime, the, the image is drawn in a uh, also in a counterclockwise orientation. So what looks like um, what looks like a reflection is actually supposed to be a rotation, okay? Because when you reflect something uh, over an axis or over a um, vertical or horizontal line, what happens is the orientation will be reversed. Here in this case, the orientation is not reversed. So this is in fact going to be a rotation of some kind. So uh, what kind of rotation is this? Well, this is going to be a rotation. It looks like it's going to be a rotation of 180 degrees. If we rotate ABC uh, over the origin, let's say, by 180 degrees, what we'll end up with is we'll end up with a trapezoid that looks like this. Uh, where I have uh, A prime, B prime, C prime, and D prime. And then after uh, that rotation of 180 degrees, then we will translate this two units down, or three units down rather, okay? Two units down, what am I saying? All right, so the transformation that we're looking for is we're going from uh, we're going with a rotation over the origin that's 180 degrees. We do not need to state the origin because by default it is over the origin unless otherwise we specify it. And then we're going to perform a translation where we are pushing everything down two units. So zero negative two. So this is going to be of trapezoid ABCD.